They're all exploring. This is really cool. I'm glad I decided to build this already. out so we can put our little quail hut here. this long piece of two by four and I'm gonna cut it with this first I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna split it down the middle so it'll make four little stake things so that I can drive them in the ground all right now that I have two boards that are about the same size they're really close right there but now I'm gonna split it down the middle and so we'll have four all right now I've put all four of the posts in and they're 13 inches tall now and now I'm gonna take some metal from leftovers from our barn and I'm gonna take it and put it around nail it or screw it or whatever to the post so let's do that now. I got some metal and I'm gonna screw it to the post. I also got some out there. All right, now I have all the sides on and I screwed a board in so that when they come in, they come in through here. And then once they're inside, half of it, this half over here will probably be hay. And this half over here will be sand because quail have to have sand baths so that they can um, get all like the mites ticks and all that kind of stuff off of them and the hay they can lay their eggs in hopefully just like chickens and then over there and over there one's not long enough so I have to use both of them and that's gonna be our roof all right so I got 50 feet of poultry um, netting and I'm gonna put that on the inside. I'm still gonna keep this fence on there. It's just extra protection for predators. And I'm gonna put that on the inside and wrap it all the way around so that nothing gets my quail. And there's a lot of trash in there. There's already steeples in there too. But, um... all the fence up and we got the first couple quail sorry for the wind it's pretty bad I put a little bit of hay in there I'm gonna add some more but I got the first couple quail in here and I'm gonna release them and see what they think about their new home 
and I am going to stick a piece of wood over top of that to block the wind and keep it warm. Free, one. You can go now. I'm going to help guide them a little bit out. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to pick up the back a little bit to get them out. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to do like I did the first one to all of them because they don't want to come out. This one's a rooster. You can tell because his chest is like a reddish color. And if you look at the other one's chest, they're more like a speckled color. All right, I'm back with the second load. These four are still a little scared. They're kind of hiding. There's one still back there. And let's let these out. These are all white. I think they're called snowies. Hopefully we can get them to come out without having to scare them too bad. There's only three of these right here. Oh, one of the quail just ran up to me. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He wants to be YouTube famous. Oh, where are you going? That's the rooster right there. Oh, one of the white ones left is over there. The rest of them. He looks a little curious, but the rest of them are still in here. Come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dang, you're a curious little fella. Hey. Hopefully I can get a video of that rooster right there crowing. He's pretty cool. They have a cool little crow thing they do. these are free and I should only have like one more load all right guys I said this was the last load and I lied there's one more that was really hard to get out that I didn't get to get out yet he is hiding oh these are just wanting to come right out but he is hiding and I didn't get to get him out and that's a rooster so he's not picking on her he's just trying to reproduce. Oh, that one just flew a little bit. They're inside our new hut. Oh, that one just flew out the cage. Is that all of them? It's all of those. And look, that one's enjoying the hay. Right there. Over there, and like I said, on this side, I'm gonna have sand, on that side, I'm gonna have hay because the quail will have they'll take baths in the sand so that they can um, get all like the ticks and mites off of them. Hey, little buddy, all 
That was the rooster crowing. You can see him over there. That was that rooster. Wind's blowing her feathers a little bit on her wings. The chickens aren't sure what to think about them. All right, now I'm gonna go get the very last quail to add to our quail aviary. All right, this is the very last load of quail. Oh, he's over there crowing again. This is the very last load of quail coming to the quail aviary for now. And it's just one quail. He was a little stubborn, or she, I'm not sure. You wanna come? No, no, not that way. Alrighty. I'm just gonna let it come out on its own. Hopefully it will. You can see the two quail over there laying together. There's some quail in the box. There's one over here, you can barely see him. He's hiding in the hay. And that's what they'll do, they like to hide in the hay. Because they blend in really well to it. There's one over here, I think he's something trying to sneak out. That one over there won't stop growing. Well, what am I gonna do with all these quail? bring some waters in here and I'm gonna feed them in this pan for now until we get feeders in here and then I'm also going to install water like this where they peck this part and water comes out that's what they've been using but I'm gonna bring it from their old coop and put it in here that little feller don't want to come out so I have to Pick it up, get him out. Come on, buddy. Get the last quail out. All right, now I got all the quail out. All right, these quail are just hanging out. I've seen a bunch of them try and take dust baths in the dirt. And I made this top. I screwed screwed two pieces together and stuck a piece of wood in the front and a piece of wood in the back. And I purposely didn't screw it all the way down so not only is the screw not sticking out, but I can use that as a handle to pick it up. And that's what I'm gonna feed them in. I think I already said that. And I'm gonna go get some more waters now. And eventually I'm gonna have, yeah, I think I already said all that stuff. I'm not gonna bore you again, but see what they're doing in here. video I can incubate some of their eggs so we can have some more of their babies. If you want to see that make sure you leave a like and make sure you sir subscribe. Oh I see some commotion in here. What's going on? They're just running around. But I hope you like this video make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one and i'll see you next time on y'all's hopping hilltop farm